Okay guys, welcome to my how to hold video and today we're going to talk about how to hold overpass and in this video we're going to be covering the long A area which is the right side of the map and it's well defined by usually having AUPERS here it's good for AUPERS but we'll be covering it in detail so we'll be covering the timings, the angles, positions, grenade usage the ben benefits and detriments of pushing and the terrorist art plant positions as well. So let's get into it. So the long A area is defined by this area on the map and we're going to be looking at attacking from the playground and the fountain area. You can also hold a safe position near the pot plant area which you'll just be talking about getting attacked normally from the long A area here. You can also be attacked from the bathrooms area, however we'll we will not be covering that in this video. So let's have a look at timings. We'll have a look at counter-terrorist timings, terrorist timings and the meeting angle. So for a counter-terrorist to get to the edge of long A and into the fountain playground area and for a terrorist to get to the same point, it takes them both about 15 seconds. Now this would be classified as an aggressive angle for the counter-terrorist, so it's not very commonly held unless you're going to push it. So usually you have enough time to set up before they can push long A as a counter-terrorist. The meeting angle is right here. Alright then, let's have a look at aggressive angles and defensive angles. So we'll start with the aggressive angles. So this is the most aggressive angle and then the usual aggressive angle is there. A normal angle from connector can be here and now it's starting to defensive angles at the pot plant, the edge of the long A area, close to the site as well. So you can play it either aggressive or defensive depending on how well you want to play it. Now we're going to look at positions, aggressive, defensive positions and one kill and orbing positions. So you can play by the rock, by the tree here, in the bathrooms area, at the pot plant, at the fence here, at the edge of the site there, at the sign on the site, the boxes on the site, and at the bank or at the truck on the site as well. So this is an aggressive position here at the rock. It's also a one kill position. Same with the tree here, you're not expected to get more than one kill as you're kind of in the open and don't have much cover. But it's good if you're going to play two people up here connector here is a good default position you probably likely get more than one kill if you play it right you can play safe in the connector as well just be wary you can get shot from the short A area pot plant here is a default position here it's quite a good position here at the fence is more of a one kill position usually good if you have someone on site to help you out like from this position here which is a very strong position but it's the defensive position here's a one kill defensive position you can play from the boxes here, which is a defensive position and a good position. You do have to worry a bit from the bathrooms area and the bank here, which is a super defensive position, but quite good, but you can get smoked out quite easily. Orping positions from the bathrooms connector here is quite strong. However, you do need to worry about getting shot from behind. On top of the pot plant here is good because you can fall off and play next to the pot plant right here. This is probably the most common orping position here. You can play here as well which with an AWP, which is quite nice. You do have to worry about bathroom, so just be careful. But you should be able to get the pick here. And again here, defensive position. And again you have to worry about bathrooms here, but it's a strong position. Now we're going to look at grenade usage, smoke, flash, incendiary grenades, and we're going to look at one HE grenade. So there's only a few places you can really smoke viably on the long A area, which is the aggressive position here. So you can smoke off this area. And you can hold it from then rock tree and connect it quite easily. So you can smoke it from here as well. It's a good smoke and it does force them to use a lot of time because they've got to first push through the smoke and then get onto the site all the way from the smoke. Unless they push through bathrooms, so just be careful there. You can get flanked if your bathroom guys goes down. However, it is also a very careful smoke as if you miss your kind of exposing yourself a bit. So this smoke here is not very useful, however if you want to escape the long A into bathrooms area it can be quite useful. 
Here's probably one of the better smokes. So this stops them getting onto the site. Quite nicely. However, it does give up control of long A to the terrorists. So just be careful when you use these smokes. Making sure you want to figure out how much map control you have. And how much map control you want. And how long there's time left on the, on the round. So you can smoke off this area from pretty much anywhere on site. It's a very easy smoke to do. And you can mess it up a little bit and you should still be fine. You can't mess it up too much though. So just, just practice it a bit. So yeah, this one was slightly messed up here as you can see on the right. They won't actually push through it though. Flashbangs here. Depending on how you want to play this, some flashbangs can be better. So this is if you're going to push or you want to slow them down. It's quite a good flashbang for slowing them down. Or if you get like one killing on a full back, it's pretty good for that. At the tree you can do the same. You can use this post here. Just get the angle right. And it'll flash up behind you and in front of them. So you can peek out with it. You can use the tree as well if you want to flash. Does it quite nicely. If you're in here and you want to escape or you want to peek out, you can use the flashes as well. So this is a peeking out flash. You'll flash it and then peek out with it. However, it can be seen, so just be careful. It might be better off as a s slowing them down flash rather than the peeking out flash. If you're being chased, you can do a underhand pop flash here. It works quite nicely. You can also use the pop plant to flash out as well. This flashes is a bit closer to you. And you can do another flash to retreat here if you wish. A few ways of doing this. Make practice, figure out which ones you like, which ones are quickest for you. If you're back in the bathrooms and you want to peek the bathrooms area to long, you can do that flash as well. This will allow you a little bit of a peek and just be able to rehold the angle. You can use this flashbang for the same effect as well. Just throw it out. This is more of a delay flash as you can't really peek out with it, but it should delay them. This is a decent flash as well for delaying. You probably won't expect this flash. You can flash over the party area. That'll flash above them and delay them a bit. Over here you can flash over the pot plant umbrella thing. Flashes quite nicely. You can peek out with this one quite easily. You can use a light post as well to flash and peek out with it at the pot plant area. Just be careful, they might have an AWP trained on that pot plant and shoot as soon as the flash pops because it is a one area you can only peek at once. You can use this post here to flash if you're stuck in the corner. It's quite a good flash. You can use the top of the post if you want to as well. This will flash above you. So you can peek out with it. If you're on site, you can use the ledge of the bank here to flash on top of the policeman. You can flash over the boxes as well. There's lots of flashes you can do from the site. Experiment and figure out the ones you want and the ones you like. You can use the post as well. Just the ones you're good with you can use, and you can use the policeman as well. So some will be better for peeking out, some will be better for slowing them down. You can flash over the policeman if you're at bank, peek out with an AWP or something, it's quite nice. You can also use the boxes as well. Sensing whether you want to give them a bit more time or you want to... If you're stuck in bank, you can flash out as well. It's quite nice. This won't actually flash anyone who's in the wrong position because it only flashes certain positions. So just be careful. <coughs> Molotovs. There are only a few decent places for Molotovs. Pretty much the same place you'd smoke. So you can Molotov here to slow them down if you want if you want to buy time to run back or something. They're quite decent at that. However, don't expect the Molotovs to do much damage from these positions. 
as it's pretty easy just to jump through them, maybe take 20 damage max. This Molotov here, again like the smoke, is not very useful unless you're being chased. So if you have an orb and you're being chased by pistols, that Molotov can be quite nice. These Molotovs are probably the most useful, which slows them down onto a push. So you pop a smoke in the smoke page, you immediately pop a Molotov, and maybe they might run out of time or something. You can Again, you can do these from anywhere on the side. Just pop a Molotov off. From any position you're playing. If they're going for a bomb plant on the other side of the boxes, you can mart off that as well. That should stop them planting a bomb. If you've got a HE grenade, you can also throw that there as well. Which will HE grenade any bomb planter right in the face. Okay, now we're going to look at pushing. The benefits and detriments of pushing. So, if you're going to push out of long, you can either push into the bathrooms area. However, the terrorists, if they notice you're pushing, can easily push onto the site, or they can push back through the bathrooms into long and you won't be there, or they can push to B. So it's pretty easy for them to spread out as soon as you push. If you push back through connector, they can either push to B, or they can push back up to the bathrooms area. Or you can push all the way to, to the monster area, and then they can just push straight onto the B or to short. You can viably push the long A area quite nicely, if you have someone in bathroom, you can able to lock that area down. Now we're going to look at terrorist after plant positions, the aggressive and defensive ones. So here in bank is an aggressive position. You do have to watch two angles, but it's quite good. Here's an on the site position. Here's a more defensive position, which is quite nice. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.